Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, we have acquired the Storm Badge, which means we are only two badges away from being able to enter the Pokemon League Tournament. Conveniently enough, we're about to get the next badge right now. All we have to do is deliver this medicine back to Jasmine, and then we can fight her. But before we do that, let's talk to you. You crossed the sea to get here? That must have been hard. Ugh, you're telling me? Uh, uh, to recap, I am the one who was doing the swimming. And yes, it was hard. It would be much easier if your Pokemon knew how to fly. That sign was gym badge. Then you should take this HM. Teach fly to your Pokemon. You will be able to fly instantly to anywhere you have visited. My husband lost to you, so he needs to train harder. That's good, since he was getting a little chubby. I don't know, he didn't seem all that chubby to me. Not to mention he's entirely capable of lifting boulders. But that is ultimately why she does not give us the ability to use fly until after we, are, we beat her husband. Because it's normally a fighting gem. Having fly would make that a little bit too easy. Okay, so... Thanks to this randomizer, any of us could learn fly. But I think I'm going to keep this relatively normal and give it to Gyarados here. And we can get rid of... Oh, it's a tough choice, actually. Do we need Rock Smash anywhere else? I think we will. Don't want to get rid of Thunder Punch, because that's kind of neat to have. Swords Dance is definitely good. Uh, I guess we'll get rid of Headbutt. A few of us already have it anyway. By the way, I just want to bring up something interesting I thought of. This guy here gives us his Pokemon in the hopes that we would protect it from being stolen. What good does it if he gives, gives it to us instead of somebody else taking it? It doesn't actually... Wait, I think I'm safe now, so may I have it back? Um, we don't actually have it. Oh, no, no. That's the same as being robbed. Yeah, that, that is exactly the point I was trying to make. Okay, I'm actually kind of curious now. Are we actually able to give back this specific Pokemon and he'll take it? Does the randomizer actually recognize that this is the one? That is what I am curious about. So let's go ahead and get back Shucky. And we'll find out if he recognizes his old cloister. Maddie says he will because of the ID number. Hey, you don't have my Pokemon with you. Nope. Well, now I feel bad for Shucky. His own trainer does not recognize him. Maybe it works better in the remakes. Randomizing in the remakes, but in this game, apparently not. Huh. Well, nothing we can do about that. Let's just go ahead and make our way back to Olivine, which will thankfully be a whole lot easier now that Gyarados is going to be doing the heavy lifting. Also, we should heal. Totally should heal. We won't have any battles to deal with on the way back up to Jasmine, but 
Better to do this now before I forget. Okay, back up we go. Let us light this place up. It is too bad that we cannot ride our bike up here. Actually, it would make a lot of sense to do this. This is kind of a spiral up, I like to imagine. Sure, there are stairs along the way, but I imagine the stairs are in place of actual ramps. Also, I am really glad that Roboboy is doing all the climbing. After all the swimming I did earlier, I could use some rest here inside of my Pokeball. Will that medicine cure Amphi? Not really. I see. Amphi hanging on. Well, that was some interesting dialogue there. Will that medicine cure Amphi? Yes. Riverboy handed the secret potion to Jasmine. You know, it's just like a pharmacy to make the healthy thing into a secret. Um, please don't be offended. Amphi will not take anything from anyone but me. Amphi, how are you feeling? Okay. It would be a really nice touch if this place actually lit up whenever it was healed. I mean, I know it did the flash, but I mean, if it started out dark in here and then it lit up. Oh, I'm so relieved. This is just so wonderful. Thank you so very, very much. I will return to the gym. Yay! And suddenly, all is well. Speaking of well, I hope that they actually treat that Ampharos well, considering it is doing the job of a lighthouse. In fact, right back is asking, so does Amphi sleep in that bed? I mean, if you're going to treat the Pokemon as a light bulb, you gotta give it a light a life of luxury. Unfortunately, on the outside, this place is still not lit up. Kind of a bummer. Oh well, time for a Pokemon battle. To the next boss we go. Jasmine uses the newly discovered steel type. I don't know very much about it. It's kind of made of steel. Of course, in this randomizer, it's not going to be steel. It's going to be something... Uh, who knows what it's going to be. So... No idea who should be up in front. For now, it's going to be... Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and see... What... Rikus is able to do. At least have Rikus start things out. Thank you for your help at the lighthouse. But this is different. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am Jasmine, a gym leader. I use the steel type. Do you know about the steel type? It's a type that was only recently discovered. You know, I kind of wonder how that works, considering, you know, Magnemites were steel type, except not in Generation 1. But they were there in Generation 1, and then suddenly they seem to have mutated into steel, even though they were already metal. Um, may I begin? Oh, yes, sorry, just rambling a bit. Just real quick, I like Jasmine's sprite. Okay, starting out with a Rhyhorn. Okay, yep, this is a good start for Rikus. 
have a little bit of, uh, water gun. Right, we didn't teach you surf because we're saving you for waterfall. Oh well, this will still do good. Like, <laughs> really good? Oh my goodness, the rock ground combo of these Pokemon is so crippling. And suddenly, Blastoise. Okay, well, Water Gun's not gonna be as good in this situation. I think it's also 10 levels higher. That's an issue. Okay, new plan. Uh, that definitely causes some damage. Hopefully, Thunder Punch will also cause some good damage. Hopefully a ton of it, because you can't take much of that, can you? Please be paralyzed. Darn it. Okay. Starting at 77. Now at 26. You can take another hit. Let us hope for some paralysis. Or a critical hit. Got neither. Darn. How about some lemonade then? I can't remember what all the Jasmine's Pokemon normally are. One of them is the Steelix. I'm guessing Blastoise is a replacement for that. I think the other is Magnemite, I want to say. Please don't flinch. Good, didn't flinch. Level up for Rike is good. One more. What we got? Geodude. Yeah, Geodude and Rhyhorn are probably replacements for the Magnemites. Eventually, we're going to come to a trainer that actually hurts a large portion of us, and not just two Pokémon. Having a team of six is definitely an advantage. You are a better trainer than me. Also, having six Pokémon, you know, in both skill and kindness. In accordance with League Rules, I confer upon you this badge. Huzzah! Mineral Badge raises Pokémon's defense, also makes Steel attacks slightly more powerful, the reason why I mention making types of moves more powerful is because it actually does. It's just a hidden thing that they do. The games never actually mention it, but they actually do raise the power of their related Pokemon type. Um, please take this too. Oh yeah, what is this? You could use that TM to teach Iron Tail. Meh. Um, I don't know how to say this, but good luck. Uh, here's the thing about moves like Iron Tail and steel attacks in general. They kind of suck. Their accuracy for some reason... Not good. I don't know why... Steel attacks in general have such crappy accuracy. Not like awful, but like 75%, which is 
I'd, I'd rather have at least 85. Out of curiosity, if we actually did teach somebody Iron Tail, who would learn it? Nobody. Probably just gonna sell it, possibly. That was awesome. The steel type, huh? That was a close encounter of an unknown kind. Nah, that was actually Blastoise, Rhyhorn, and Geodude. They are quite well known. Suddenly, Professor Um. Purple Boy, how are things going? I called because something weird is happening with the radio broadcasts. They were talking about Team Rocket. Purple Boy, do you know anything about it? Maybe Team Rocket has returned. No, that just can't be true. Sorry to bug you. Take care. Uh, radio broadcasts? Ahem, we are Team Rocket. After three years of preparation, we have risen again from the ashes. Giovanni, can you hear? We did it! Where is our boss? Is he listening? And we are Team Rocket- oh, it, there, it, it is on a loop. And it seems every station is this. Actually, that makes me kind of curious. If we go into the ruins of Alf, will that replace the station there as well? I gotta check that. I'm curious. So, let's fly to... Violet City. That's the closest to the ruins of Alf. I suppose we should also heal. I want a fast forward button, but I'm afraid to use fast forward on this emulator. Oh, actually, as long as we're here, I'll take this. <laughs> Maddie says Team Rocket is so inconsequential. Even when they manage to take over the radio tower, folks are more concerned that the radio is being weird than they are about Team Rocket being back. I guess. Okay, so going in here. Nope, this station is still normal. So, though. Team Rocket being back, that is certainly a thing. You think we should do something about it? We should probably do something about it. Okay, well, I guess we'll go ahead and do something about it after this break. Be right back. <laughs> 